ladies and gentlemen, this is the one and only Adam Clayton 5 bringing you another one of my video tutorials. Uh, for those of you who thought I was dead or whatever, I'm not dead. I've just been not making videos. So um, what I've decided I'm going to teach you how to do today is something that a lot of people have problems with and it's really not that hard. It's how to use a printer on a wireless network so that everyone can print from the printer. So you don't have to use like one computer. All you need to do is get an ethernet cable, which most people have and it probably came with your printer. Plug it directly into your wireless router into one of the computer slots. And um, then, so once you've done that, um, all you need to do is click start, go over to control panel, and click view devices and printers or add a device. Just click on view devices and printers. You can also do it like that from your start menu if you have Windows 7 or Vista by clicking devices and printers. And you can see here's printers and faxes. Your printer is not listed. Go up to add printer. Click on add a printer. Click don't add add a local printer. Click add a network wireless or Bluetooth printer and it'll automatically search for it. Shouldn't take more than 10 seconds before it finds your printer. If the printer is turned on, which it should be, which I don't think mine is. One second. Okay, I've just turned on my printer, which I should have done beforehand in this video. And after a second or two here, I may have to start over because it was off. Yeah, that was. That's something I probably should have added. Your printer should be turned on. All right, we're gonna click search again. So now that my printer's on, we'll see if we can find it here. It does take, it doesn't happen instantly. It does take a few seconds, so don't be discouraged. See, there it is. I have the Photosmart C6200 series from HP as its own IP address. Select it and click next. Windows will do this part for you. And Windows comes with printer drivers installed, which is, Windows 7 at least does. And just select use the driver that is currently installed. Printer name, I printist. Printist. I printist. I journalist. And then click next. You can share it on your wireless network. It doesn't, it doesn't really, you know, you don't need to do this part. And click finish. It's right here, and if I attempt to print something, I can print from it. This has been a low-budget shitty tutorial from the one and only Adam Clayton 5. If you enjoyed this, comment, rate, and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to try to make this a series because these are helpful to some people. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.